And speaking of Disney, uh, Tripping Barn says, please comment on the latest Disney buffoonery. Oh, well, we're about to do that. In fact, uh, on that note, as we said before, Kathleen Morrison sent in this $5 super chat. It says, do you think the trick Disney pulled on Reedy Creek will ultimately be a good or bad PR move public with public and investors? So this is a good question. Now, we talked a little bit about this last night. Um, Andre, I'm curious to hear your take on it, maybe Script's take on it, if you guys know anything about it. Um, but basically, from my understanding, and I'm probably going to muck it up, is that uh, Disney tried pulling using basically some homeowners laws to try <laughs> and get out of the Reedy Creek situation, and they got caught. And Florida is asking for <laughs> they're, they're, there's they're asking for any and all evidence that would point to Disney uh, basically trying to pull some shenanigans here. That's the best way I can put this. I'm sure you'll be able to put it more eloquently than I did. But, uh, uh, yeah, Andre. I can try. Uh, I can try. Yeah. Script, you want to give an attempt first at uh, summarizing <laughs> exactly what the Disney did to try to pull wool over Florida's eyes? No, because I have no idea. I've been busy working on productions, All and right. I don't even know what the heck Tom just said. So, uh, okay. yes, oh, if you can yeah. clarify that, that would be much very helpful. It, yeah, very it's, it's <laughs> very convoluted, and I don't have a culture casino, a valiant, or a Mexican. Because if, if they try to do something with, say, homeowners, wouldn't they then have to pay property taxes? And look who shows up just in fucking time. Thank you so much. Perfect. He's a uh, I superhero was indeed. A, my, my layman's summary, but I don't have to now because now we're going to get a slightly more detailed summary from the, man, the myth Mexican, Mexican Iron, Iron Man. Welcome. man. I, I heard a call for a, a tax accounting and finance avenger. So Yeah, I was sitting in the background hitting the button here just going like, hear it, Mike, hear it. Hear I, I heard the, ta the Taco <laughs> Bell signal went resounded through the house and when bambino started barking i knew that i, I was called upon to serve thank so, you for being here this is a complicated legal shenanigans but i'm going to try to simplify it but you actually did a very good job in your in your you guys just in your remarks essentially captured incoherent it. rambling yeah so let me <laughs> basically what happened is is that i'm gonna there's there's three to five things i'll do it very tight and very quick so one of the things that a lot of people commented on is that uh, why is Disney sort of rolling over and, and letting this happen without much hullabaloo when this was a major thermonuclear issue for both sides back when? Well, it appears that what happened is that Disney's lawyers got to work and said, look, this law's passed. The clock is ticking. And what they did is that while DeSantis and the, and the people that were pro um, – no Reedy Creek and uh, the new board that was being set up, the new tourism board was being set up for the state of Florida. The lawyers got to work and they essentially did what is known in corporate finance as a poison pill type of legal action. What they started doing is they started, uh, while they still were, before the, the Reedy Creek board was out, what they started doing is they started executing agreements between Disney and the old Reedy Creek board so that when the new, quote, owners or the new board took over, they wouldn't be able to enact anything that had any real teeth or meat to it. It's analogous to the analogy that I'll give to you is that if any of our listeners from Midnight's Edge are homeowners and happen to live in homeowners associations or even apartments where you sign a renter's agreement and there's these you know stipulations about what you can and can't do or condo buildings where you can sell your condo, but then there's still things you can and cannot do, that there are legal uh, agreements in place. And in this case, what Disney did is Disney had the Reedy Creek board members execute agreements as recently as, uh, as recently as early to mid February, uh, that essentially let Disney still control things like density, uh, usage of space and through what are known uh, right widely as developer agreements and developer agreements essentially are contracts that allow the holder of the developer agreement, which in this case is Disney, to be able to say, hey, we, it doesn't matter who the owner or governing board is, we still have a legal right to do whatever we want in terms of things like destiny, de density, uh, which matters for things like constructing amusement parks or preventing amusement parks, et cetera. So what happened is, is that the new board showed up, had a meeting, and at that meeting, the uh, staff of the new board gave some bad news to the to the new board that hey 
we have all these agreements and we haven't even gone through a stack. It's kind of like walking into a house that you bought and finding out that you can't say, for example, at a second floor, you can't install a pool. You can't, uh, Get new drywall. Uh, you can't do drywall. You can't even do it. You can't even add an addition. You can't even b- blow out. You can't even blow out like a. Mo- you can't build a mother in law's quarters or expand no your garage. No dormers on your attic. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead, script. No dormers on your attic. Exactly. Yeah. And so and so, there's many angles to this. One angle is that this is a bit embarrassing that while the state of Florida was claiming victory, they weren't keeping their eye on the ball on the transition. You know, they were so busy buying furniture to move in. And getting uh, you know things set up, that uh, that uh, that the, and meanwhile the seller or Reedy Creek Board was busy making sure that uh, they're like, all right, well we can't change this law, this law's passed, but what we can do is uh, use some ancient buried in laws in order to try to to deal with what we really want. And, the, and to that end, there's two angles to it. One has to do, and this has been covered by Legal Mindset extensively on his channel, and. Um, has to do with whether or not there's a way to pierce this veil or pierce these agreements because they were done in bad faith. Uh, there's a variety of ways that they can be pierced and that they can Which still... Which is probably why they're asking for, why they put the, they want evidence to... Discovery. Actually, this, yeah, this letter here. Yeah, go ahead and go over that, Tom. Do you want to go over that? It says, this email serves as public records request under Florida law. Please provide copies of all emails, text messages and all other car- correspondence from or to employees, board members, or other affiliates of the Reedy Creek Improvement District regarding the following topics. Documents discussing agreements, covenants, or similar documents approved or considered by the Board of Supervisors on February 8th, 2023. Please limit your search to documents discussing an intention or goal of circumventing, avoiding, frustrating, mitigating, or otherwise attempting to avoid the effects of the anticipated actions by the Florida governor and Florida legislator. If you believe that individuals no longer affiliated with Reedy Creek Improvement District may possess responsive public records that are not in your custody or control, please advise how the Attorney General's office may be of assistance. So now yeah, these types. Some, uh, now what Disney did, they're not supposed to be able to do because these kind of binding covenants that endure and near are not supposed to apply to governmental entities or governmental bodies, uh, but they did it anyways. And in particular, one of the uh, most comedic elements of all of this is that they uh, quoted this law that was, uh, they quoted this, uh, uh, the statute law that, that referenced, uh, I can't remember which king it is. Uh, king George III, I believe it was. King George III and all of his descendants and heirs and all that yeah. goes along with it. So. Some really weird Fugazi crap, if you ask me, but I didn't understand, and that's why I had such a hard time in describing it. But sorry, go ahead, Mike. So, the, so, so for those that thought that the story was over, oh yay, the drama continues. And this, what this highlights, Tom, going back to how this uh, go, uh, the reporting for Midnight's Edge and Legal Mindset, Valiant Renegade, and other cha- channels, is that this Reedy Creek, this this district, this area is a big deal to Disney. It is a big, 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 big deal. And uh, I can only imagine that uh, related to Victoria Alonso being let go, I'm quite sure that someone on the legal team had one foot in uh, in the pot that was taking care of these uh, co- private covenant developer agreements, as well as, you know, hey, this bitch has got to go. Because, I imagine it's two completely different teams, but yeah. Yeah, they are, but but it's all legal, but but it's all connected because it has to do with the fact that legal – Legally, Disney is in a place where it's got to shore up its own financial interest because this is not a company that's flush with cash. This is also not a company that can afford to let the uh, special th- the the special privileges that it had go go by the wayside. I mean, the yeah. fact that they did this really accentuates the extent to which this was important, and they realized, hey, we've lost a political battle. Now let's go and do some legal maneuvering and legal shenanigans in order to try to keep what we want. Yeah, and Petty Club brings up here that actually Charles III is, is the new king. Yeah, but what he means, I think, uh, what you, you were saying, Mike, was that it's an old law yeah. they use, like a really old law. And basically what they'd stated in it is that it's something to do with, like, 20 years after the de- death of Prince the, Charles and his the descendants death or something of the like last that. living descendant. Yeah. So, so basically, like, the last living descendant right now is the king's grandchild. Uh, so assuming that that grandchild doesn't grow up to have any kids, then we are t- talking 
like 80 years from now or 100 years from now uh, at the most most optimistic from florida's point of view if this were to pass that's the key word because that ain't looking good now is it uh mike well i think uh you know this is something that's obviously goes to court and i think i i'm no attorney i don't play one on tv or in real life but uh I have a hard time believing this thing's going to survive uh, uh, um, legal scrutiny. Yeah. Uh, what I will say, though, because the original Super Chat that set us off to this asked about, like, PR victory. And uh, what you have right here, Tom, of course, is the response from DeSantis. But if you look at the general corporate media, they're all basically cheering and dancing and hoping and even Grace Randolph acted already. like it was a slam dunk. Yeah, exactly. And like, look at, for instance, CNBC's headline again. They're all acting gleefully as if this was a slam dunk, and Disney really stuck it to the evil authoritarians in Florida. That is uh, that is the PR victory uh, for now. But I do not think that that is a PR victory that's going to last because this thing right here, yeah, there's going to be a few battles in court over it, but this is going to be overturned faster than you can imagine where where legal standards are concerned. Anything else would surprise me. In the Disney shows that are out there, I was uh, watching, the very, I just happened to be catching various uh, Disney theme park type channels and watching the comments on those by the Disney supporters is pretty funny. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty, this is all pretty entertaining, but so the battle continues. Stay tuned everyone. Yeah, we'll see here on that news. So that's the Disney situation right now. Uh, at least yeah. on that front. Did I do okay? Are there any other questions? Or Thank you so cover? much. Um, no, if, you, if you're not question. busy, if you want to hang out just in case. Oh yeah, I'll hang out. In, I just want to make sure I, I covered. Um, as of right now, I don't think there's anything else. The script had any questions. I don't think he cares, though. No, no. I'm, let let Disney squirm and let for let me for Florida <laughs> duke it out. I'm I'm happy to sit back and watch. Yeah, that's what I figured. You're kind of just like, yeah, okay. <laughs> we'll see how this rolls. 